Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Newcastle. This is a safety announcement. Hi everyone, my name's this Scott. Is a welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything. Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Newcastle. Today I'm trying LNER's first class experience between Newcastle and Edinburgh Waverley. This is one of five videos I'm doing focusing on rail operators within Scotland. Uh, there will also be ScotRail, Avanti West Coast, Trans Pennine and Cross Country, but today it's LNER's turn and I am looking forward to this. And the reason for that is because of all the operators and of the journeys I'm doing, this is the only one that has a first class lounge at the start and also at the end of the journey. I am looking forward to this. One thing worth mentioning is this lounge could be busy, so I will not be using the GoPro there. I will be using a GoPro 7, it's a lot more discreet, but expect some voiceover. There are 10 aspects of the first class experience I'm going to be giving scores for. These are out of 10, these will total 100, and it will be a nice percentage score at the end of this video. The cheapest standard class fare I could find between Newcastle and Edinburgh Waverley was £14.90. The cheapest first class fare I could find was £31.50. That's a difference of £16.60 for a 1 hour and 26 minute journey. Is it worth it? I'm about to find out. One slight, I wouldn't call it a problem, an inconvenience is the fact you're only allowed into the first class lounge two hours before departure. My train leaves at 15.45, it is currently 13.10, so I'm going to have to hang around for about half an hour before I can get into the first class lounge. But I think it's going to be worth it. Well, that's a disappointment. The first class lounge is closed until further notice because of a door fault. Okay, null point for the Newcastle first class lounge. Okay. I was just speaking to the nice lady at the information desk and she says the door only broke today, so I timed that well. Thank goodness for Greg's. Seaton Carew, Billing Montees, Stockton, Thornaby, Middlesbrough, James Cook. According to the LNER website, there should be toilets, meeting rooms, which I wanted to have a look at, TV, newspapers, refreshments, Wi Fi, and it was dog friendly. None of the above applies from today until further notice. So, what do you do when you've got two hours in Newcastle? I've got a confession to make. I've never really spent any time in Newcastle. I've passed through the city a number of times if it's going to the airport or maybe changing trains, but I've never spent any time in the city itself. And I think it deserves to be explored one day because after all, the local football team, Newcastle United, have black and white stripes just like St. Mirren. So it has something going for it. There is one thing I am going to see right now. And here it is, the Tyne Bridge. I was brought up in Sydney, and this is like a small version. Sorry. I was brought up in Sydney, and this is like a small version of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, so it's important that I visit it. Ooh, it's windy today. Wow. Yeah, so due to circumstances beyond my control, uh, I wasn't expecting to be here. So I have no factoids ready for you, but I will put the date of building below. I think it was around the same time as the Sydney Harbour Bridge, give or take a couple of years. Pretty impressive. Right, I'm getting off this bridge now because, as they say in Scotland, it's blown a hooli. In fact, uh, Carol, the weather lady on the BBC Breakfast Show, she's from Fort William, she actually used that on the National Weather uh, Report once. Blown a hooli. I can imagine 95% of Britain's population was going, doing a what? <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit on the windy side here. Let's get back to the station.
So what do you do at Newcastle Station when you've got an hour to kill before your train arrives? I'm going to try something I've seen on YouTube a number of times and I've never tried it until now. Yeah, that was the walking away from the camera in slow motion shot. I'm getting bored. Well guys, that's a sneaky look through the windows as to what the first class lounge would look like if I could have gotten in. Tea, coffee making facilities, water, drinks, lots of snacks, comfy chairs. According to LNER's flashy website, this is the same one it tells you about the first class lounge here at Newcastle. This is what you get on your uh, train to Edinburgh. Wider reclinable seats, a zoom as fast as ever Wi-Fi, power sockets and USB charging points at every seat, complimentary food and drink served to you with an exclamation mark. We will find out in around about 30 minutes. Stockton, Thornaby, Middlesbrough, James Cook University Hospital, Martin, Gypsy Lane and Clanthorpe. Right, I'll be looking for Coach K Kilo, which is down the back somewhere. Now, LNER, I'm expecting big things from you because at the moment you've scored zero points out of 20.
Well, so far LNER has been hmm. The first class lounge at Newcastle, the door was broken so we couldn't get in. The toilet in our carriage was broken and the headrest on my seat was broken. Apart from that, they still got 46 out of 60, which works out to be around about 75%. But um, they're going to have to get their act into gear because I'm going to go to the lounge now. I've got one hour to enjoy the lounge here on arrival. Um, LNER LNA really needs to pick up some points here, otherwise they're going to be languishing. This is a nice lounge. That's what a railway lounge should look like. I couldn't fault it. 20 out of 20. That gives LNER a total score of 68%. Now I did notice on board there were no hot drinks, no tea, no coffee. In fact, I bumped into a lady up there who had come up from London. She noticed the same thing. And she said, well, the whole country runs on tea and coffee. How come we didn't get any on board? No, I couldn't fault that uh, lounge at all. It's absolutely beautiful up there. Absolutely perfect, ticks all the boxes. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along on this first class experience with LNER. If it hadn't been for the, uh, the broken lounge in Newcastle, the broken toilet and the broken headrest, it could have been close to a perfect score with LNER. I'll have to try them again sometime. Anyway guys, thanks for coming along on this adventure and I'll see you next time.